Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 4 of Resident Evil 7, a full playthrough of this game for you guys on the channel. And of course, in the last video, we just sort of went over to the old house, fought Marguerite, who is this kind of like spider lady living in the old house there. Then we went back into the house to retrieve two key cards to let us into the party, which is over here in this sort of outhouse. This party has been put on by Lucas and he has kidnapped our wife Mia, Ethan's wife Mia, the main character, and Zoe and sort of put them into this building. We've got to go and save them just as we got the serum to cure everybody as well in the last episode. So in this episode, we're going to be heading on into this party house, facing off against Lucas and trying to rescue Zoe and Mia. However, before I do that, if you look in our inventory, guys, you can see that along with the two key cards we got in the previous episode, we also got this videotape called Happy Birthday. So we're going to watch that before we go into the house. And also, I do want to have a look around just to see if I can find any extra weapons or any extra items, ammo, etc. that I've missed before we head on into the party house. So I'm not going to show you all of that kind of stuff, but I will show you anything interesting I find along my travels um, as I hunt back through this house to unlock any doors we haven't yet accessed. So first things first, let's head over to the videotape player, to the old VCR player as they used to be called, and let's put in this tape labelled Happy Birthday and just see what that's all about. It's a bit ominous, isn't it? A tape called Happy Birthday, which is usually a happy affair, you know, but it's included in Resident Evil. And look, it says test subject, Clancy Jarvis. Clancy was, of course, the cameraman for Sewer Gators, the weird paranormal TV show that we saw earlier. Fred, you are one lucky summer bitch. So he's been no, captured. I, this I is what happened to him you. after he was captured. What? You don't believe me? <laughs> this toy? Well, you can't fake this. That's Lucas, of course. It has taken me weeks to finish this. And it is finally ready. And it's all for you. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. It's going to be fun. Just you wait. I'm not so sure this is going to be fun. You know, I feel like this is going to be the opposite. So Lucas has trapped Clancy, the cameraman who was filming the Sewer Gator show, in this room. And we've got this weird ass looking... I don't even know what that is. It's not a clown, is it? It's just a strange figure of some kind. Is it a human or is it just a statue? We've got some balloons. Can we pop them? Nope, no uh, popping of the balloons is happening here. We've got a stove. Okay, it's very dark in here. It's very hard to see what I'm doing. We've got a locked door here. Can we burn the rope? No? Okay. Let's go around here. Ooh, a birthday cake. Oh. And we had uh, a sprinkler which put out our candle. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive and not die a horrible, painful death. I know. It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile. This party is for you. <laughs> so we've got to light the candle and Fuck put it you. on top of a cake. Great. Okay. So we've got a winding key here. What's this do? Do we need this? I'm guessing so. We've taken a winding key. This strange liquid is coming out of a barrel. Let's hope that's not... I don't know, anything flammable. <laughs> we've got candles. And then we've got this weird padlock here with symbols on it. I don't know what that's all about. We're going to have to check around. So it seems every time we walk under this little... Um, doorway here, those sprinklers come on. So we've got to find a way to get the candle through without the sprinklers setting off and uh, put, putting the candle back out. And what's this? It looks like gas is coming out of there. Hmm. Yeah, gas is coming out. We've got a weird sort of projector here. Oh, there's something there. There's a... Um, crank there or a valve handle I should say. I'm guessing we need that maybe to put on there or maybe to turn off a water supply. Let's just go back into this main room. There's a toilet here. Ugh. What the heck is that? There's something in there. Oh, fucking disgusting. 
We've got to root around in the toilet. Let's hope uh, nobody's used that recently. Okay, we've got a dirty telescope. All right, a dirty telescope. Select the telescope from your inventory. Okay. So, what does this do? What is this showing us? Maybe we need to um, clean the telescope by walking under the water. Because that lens is very dirty. Yeah, there we go. We cleaned it. Nice. So now we can actually see through the telescope. <gasps> yeah, and look, we can see the symbols on these uh, on these plasma screens. So we've got like someone hanging in a noose. The next one is like a bird on top of a cage, and the next one is like a fetus or something. So noose, bird, fetus. Let's put them into this padlock. And there we go. We've now accessed a straw doll. So maybe we need to burn the straw doll. Oh, we, we can actually burn it. Yeah, look. On the stove. Nice. And that has given us a dummy finger. Ah, so it is a dummy. So what we need to do is place the finger on the dummy. There you go. That works. So the dummy has his finger back, but we still need to, like, place something else in his hand by the look of it. Something that we don't have at the moment. Can we light the candle again? Yes, we can. Okay, nice. Can we burn the rope? Yes. I tried that early, it didn't work, but we can actually burn the rope. Ooh, balloons to pop. I love popping balloons. And we've got another balloon here. One we can actually pick up. And then... Ah! A combination of a door. We're not going to know what that is yet. Right, so let's use the balloon on this gas. There you go. It looks like something's in it, though. Something spiky. Ooh! Yeah, there was, like, nails in there. Ouch! That is painful looking. What's that? A pen or something? It's a quilled pen. Well, I guess we know what goes in the dummy's hand now, right? It's that quilled pen. So let's go back to him and place the pen in his hand. And now we can maybe use the winding key on his stomach. This looks about right. Oh! What the fuck is this? That is freaky. Let me go! Oh my god, he's writing on us. Loser. That would hurt a lot. And I don't think that's very uh, sanitary, you know? We're probably gonna get some kind of infection from that because I'm pretty sure Lucas has not sterilized that uh, pen at all. This is his idea of fun. I told you guys this wouldn't be fun. Okay, so the combination that we need in here is loser. So let's put that into the padlock. There we go. That's about right. And now we can open the door, take the valve handle, and hopefully this allows us to turn off the water so that we, we can then go through the sprinkler system. Turn off those sprinklers. Excellent. Now we just need to light the candle once more. And we can actually put it on the cake and finish this sick and sadistic game. Here we go. Okay. I feel like this is not going to have a happy ending. No, nope. <laughs> it just blows up in our face. Okay. That's not good. Oh no! The whole room! That liquid must have been flammable from the barrel. We're on fire. What do we do? Can we get out? He shut the door. 
Well, I might as well go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah, that liquid was flammable, guys. That was over dramatic, <laughs> but still, I guess he was burning to death. Lucas is a scoundrel, that's for sure. Happy birthday! Hey, it wasn't even my birthday, man. Well, there we go, guys. The happy birthday tape. We completed it. it was a bit twisted, but we finished it. Now we're going to actually explore a little bit. And as I said, go back into the house and just check that we haven't missed anything. I also want to have a good check around this backyard. Um, oh. Wait. What's this? 135 something 4. There's a, there's a box that's locked. What's this all about? Can we put something on there? This looks like it's another one of those lighting puzzles. I've got a toy axe. The toy axe works. Excellent. Okay, cool. I seem to vaguely remember this puzzle. We make a 7 out of it? Because I have played this game, but it's been like a long time. Yeah, look, that works. We made a 7. That opens this. Ooh, we got a stabilizer. Nice. So what does the stabilizer do? I think that's to prevent... Yeah, to prevent gun sway. Nice. So we'll use that. Inject. Cool. I still want to find the gun repair kit. So it's meant to be like a gun repair kit in this yard somewhere. You guys were telling me in the comments section. Ooh. Yeah, look. There's actually something we can move out of the way here. Could this be where the gun repair kit is hidden? Might be. Because you guys have definitely been telling me to get this. Then we can repair the broken shotgun. Yeah, look. Repair kit. That's awesome. Okay. So thanks for the heads up in the comment section. I do read your comments. So, you know, even when I don't reply to all of them, I do read them. And I thank you for your tips. Right, so what we want to do now is grab ourselves a broken shotgun, which is here. And we want to combine it, I imagine, with the gun repair kit. Yeah, look, we've got a shotgun now that works. Awesome. So now we have a double barreled shotgun as well as our regular shotgun. Of course, the double barrel shotgun will fire two rounds at once. So it will be a bit more ammo hungry, but obviously it will dispatch things far quicker as well. Back into the house we go. Now, there is one room that I do want to check, and it's the room with a deer, because there was actually a secret hidden in there, as seen on the photograph we picked up last episode in the fireplace. So here we are in the deer room. Now, the photograph said there was something hidden in this fireplace. Oh, yes, look. A rock. And we've got steroids. We can actually move that out of the way. That's kind of clever. So, steroids increases maximum health. I'll use that. Nice. We've also got the crow door here, which is going to let us into the supply room. As you can see, we haven't actually been into the supply room yet. So we need to use our crow key on that door that we picked up last episode. And that is going to unlock this. And hopefully, yes, look, a new weapon grenade launcher. How much ammo does that have? Only one piece of ammunition at the moment. But still, looks like shotgun shells as well. Flame rounds, that'll be for, I imagine, a grenade launcher. Yep. So this is pretty cool. This is like a supply room. It's going to give us lots of extra ammo, which is what we need right now, because I'm running dangerously low on ammunition. I do want to check our map just to make sure we haven't missed anything else in the house. So as far as I can tell on this level of the map, we have unlocked and been into every room. But then we need to switch perspectives to... Um, B1. B1 we have also fully explored. 2F. I think 2F we've done. Yep. We've, un we've done everything on 2F. And 3F is just the attic. Again, we've done everything on 3F. So, guys, we've done everything we can do. It's time to head on into that party and see if we can save Mia and Zoe. Here we go. We're going to head on inside... Lucas is crazy and very dangerous, I'm imagining, party. Welcome to paradise and there's a head in a toilet. Lovely. So we need to put in blue key card first. 
Them red key cards. And there we go. The door is open. Right, up we go. Into the madhouse. You can hear that rave music kicking in. Let's play. It is a let's play video. Yay. <laughs> let's play Resident Evil 7. Bad jokes. Let's sit down and enjoy this party, I guess. Oh, his eyes. Look at his eyes. He's so sweaty and greasy. Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. Hold on, hold on. Say my hold name, on. Lucas. I got some for you. Looky, looky what I've got. <laughs> That's the uh, serum that we need. You know All the things to make the serum. You know what Zoe wants to do with this? <laughs> oh, she thinks this thing is special. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, Ethan. That ain't special. This. This right here is special. You see, Don't do it, man. Ethan. No, not your fingernails. Everybody wants to turn back. That really makes me feel fuck. funny. What? What, Evelyn? I'm just trying to show him. I'm just trying to show him that everybody wants to go back to how things were. So he's a stupid bitch. She doesn't understand that I don't want to go back to how things were before my father found y'all. Now everybody wants to turn back the clock. So, so Ethan. Ethan. So they've all changed because of this girl, Evelyn. You can, um, crawl around. She's like a virus. Underneath that filthy, rotten house. All you want, looking for them ingredients, but you ain't gonna find a goddamn thing, Ethan. You will need that serum? Ooh, baby. <laughs> You're gonna have to come through me. You hear? Oh, come on, Ethan. What do you say? We're not given as much of a choice here, Lucas, you know. It looks like we're gonna have okay, the TV just explodes. I guess he rigged it with Fuck. some kind of detonator or something. Um Well the music stopped now. That loud, obnoxious music. But is it gonna be much of a party without it, you know? I don't know. Let's head on in and find out. Okay, I am gonna take this slowly. Cause I feel like he's gonna have booby trapped. This place to hell and back. So let's be cautious. Yeah, look. We've got trip wires straight away. Shotgun shells though, nice. I'll take those. Duck under that one. We just have to be really careful here. As you can see, there's another booby trap there. So we need to find the point that we can just pass under it like that. Um, okay, everything looks good. There's more in here. One right above our head straight away. Um, okay. What's over here? Any collectibles? Can't see any more here. There's one under that table. I feel like, oh man, there's one on the ceiling as well. Okay, let's try shooting this. Nice, it worked. And this one as well. Wow, wow, wee, wow, woo. You have got a good eye. Yeah, I know. I've got a, an eye for details. Right. Um, do we have any extra ammo though? Because I feel like we're going to quickly burn through ammo if we're shooting these traps. Um, that box is right in the middle of the floor. Is that a trap? You know what? It's not. It wasn't a trap. Surprising. What about this one? I don't trust any of these boxes. I'm going to try and flame it. That one was a trap. That was an explosive. 
I don't have anything against crates, by the way, Lucas. I just have things against traps, right? How are we going to get into this room? Do we have to just sneak through? There's like... Look, there's one right there. Oh, what the heck? How was I meant to get that one? Got a door here as well. Oh, look, that's the room that... Um, that's the room that guy was in. What was his name? Uh, Clancy. Or Travis, was it? You know, the guy that we were playing as in the uh, videotape. It's for party room. But we can't actually access it yet. I know. Fucking password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No, 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 no. 0621. No, 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 no. It's 0514. Oh, come on. Take a chance. You never know. Oh, great. Zero five one four. Is that what he said? He gave me so many numbers I don't remember. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick. I'm getting out of this room. Did it? Oh my god! Wow! Did you guys see that? That that massive thing just swung and almost hit me and took me out. <laughs> I just always ran in front of it when I came back to the door. Okay, he gave us three numbers. I can't remember what the other numbers were. Hmm. We're going to have to go on and, like, find, I think, what the actual password is. Because I have no idea if he gave us any of the right passwords there. Man, I don't know if these boxes are to be trusted. Okay, one of them is and one of them isn't. We're going to have to be really careful when we, like, smash boxes in this area. Look at that pig. It's just, like, gutted there. Okay, we've got some shotgun shells. There's a tripwire there. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Why is that coming for us? The heck? Get off me. Nasty thing. Man, that took me by surprise a little bit. It just kind of appeared behind us. Well, good thing we were turning around at the time. As that would have just got us. So let's sneak under that tripwire. We can always shoot it now, actually. See if there's anything in here. We need supplies really badly. There's a, a trip wire right there. Oh my god, there's one on the ground. Are you kidding me? Um, there's one there, I think. Wait, there's one on the ceiling as well. Okay. That gives us access to this. Great. That was actually a booby trap. We've got steroids. Dramatically strengthens muscles and increases maximum health. So that was actually worth. So let's inject that. I'm kind of concerned there's going to be like... Molded in this room. Oh no. I can hear something in there. I'm just going to run. Guys, I'm just going to run. Get out of this room as fast as we can. As fast as we can. We just need to find out what that passcode is for the door, right? Oh, a save room. Nice. Is there anything useful in here? We've got solid fuel for the flamethrower. Shotgun shells. Excellent. We've got a VCR player in case we find another tape. Okay, I've just used some psycho stimulants to see if we can like detect some items because we are still low on ammo and I do worry that we're going to have to fight like enemies in this room still. Um, so I'm just going to have a little poke around see if we can find anything. Sitting over here for a start. <coughs> Chem fluid, nice. That could be useful. Looks like we need to get over here. So let's drop down. Don't know if this is a good idea or not. 
We've got a control panel over here. We need a battery to go in there by the look of it. So, okay, we're on the hunt for a battery. We've got a burner fuel there. Man, this is blatantly going to be some kind of boss fight or something. Look how many items we're getting given suddenly. We've got a battery, cool. Okay, so let's use the battery in here now. Oh no, that was bad. It just exploded, what the heck. And the lights are out. So, yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap. The barn fight? What is that? What the heck is that? It just spits everywhere. Wait a sec. Wow, it's a big one. It's a big guy. It's like a bloater or something. It's how you deal with um, that makes you a man, let's switch to the pistol and put our special rounds in there. Okay. We're dealing with it okay so far. Come on, you big bloater. Oh my god, he's sicking all over us. That's so gross. You can't even escape that stuff once it starts to hit you. Come on, come on, run. Oh, he's spitting everywhere. Get away from me. Disgusting creature. No, heal, heal, heal. Heal. Okay. No! Oh my god! I gotta run, guys! I gotta run! I gotta run! I gotta run! I gotta run! We gotta go! We gotta go! Maybe we can actually block that stuff. I don't know. Um, I forgot to bring my flamethrower with us, guys, so we don't actually have much ammo now. I'm gonna shoot at the pistol. Stop it! Stop spitting on us. It's disgusting. It's bad manners. Oh my goodness. Got no ammo left. Are you kidding me? We're going to have to slash this guy soon. We are. We're going to have to literally go in and slash him now. No. Stop it. Die. Die. Okay. We're going to have to heal, guys. No. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Okay, good. Die. Yes, we got it. We sliced it to death. Oh, great. Exploded all over us as well. Well, we won. Um, against all odds, because we had hardly any ammunition then. <laughs> we just sliced it to death with a knife. This game is really stingy with its ammo. Like, I don't know what we're going to do if we've got, like, a boss coming up or something. Like, you know, like a proper boss. Because that was kind of like a mini boss, wasn't it? Literally used all of my ammo on it. We've got, to be fair, we have got flamethrower ammo. We have got flamethrower ammo still. Right, so where are we now? Uh, there's a charred guy there. Is that the guy that got burned before? Clancy or whatever his name was. Let's have a look. He's got a note on him. You're next. Oh, 1408. Wait, that was the second code he gave us, I think. Well, we, uh, we escaped, I guess. Um, let's use the staircase here. We're in desperate need of more ammunition, though. And look, we're back in this room here. Okay, so now we need to go through this door. I think it was 1408, if I remember correctly. That's the combination we need. Enter. 
There we go, open. And we had that classic Resident Evil inventory oh, sound. Buddy, this is a test of skill, so no cheating. That shit you're carrying, get rid of it. What, I gotta put everything in here? Ugh, okay. Here we go, we've gotta dispose of all our items at the moment. So there we go, now the door's open. We've gotta go in completely naked, so to speak. <coughs> Stay. No, he's trapped us. Ugh. So, yeah, this is basically deja vu. This is exactly what we experienced as uh, Clancy in the videotape. So we actually know how to solve this puzzle. But unlike Clancy, we know, you know, not to um, remove this. Because as soon as we remove this thing, then all the oil leaks out this barrel and it sets right, fire to the room. you say we play a little game? All you gotta do is light the candle and put it on the cake. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are children in the building. Somewhere. I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> so what we want to do here is basically um... We already know what the code is for this. The code for this was simply that hanging person. Then it was a bird cage, and then it was for like fetus thing. And that gives us that gives us a straw doll. But we don't need any of this stuff, guys, because we already know exactly what to do in this section. All we need to do is go over to the gas stove. Like this. Light it. There we go. Now, with the candle lit, all we need to do is go through this door. Because we can burn the rope off. We already know the passcode in this balloon room. Because we already solved it on the videotape. So we just put in the passcode, which is loser. This is like really easy. If this works, I think it should work, right? But if this works, which it has, then that's awesome. So now, literally, we can just take the valve handle. We haven't had to unplug the barrel, which leaked all the flammable liquid all over the room. So hopefully, the room shouldn't set on fire now. Um, we just use the valve handle here, turn off the water supply, Getting that real sense of deja vu here. And then head back to the stove, of course. Light the candle on the stove one last time. And then go through here. Place the candle on the cake. But this time, when it explodes, it's not going to set fire to the whole room. At least in theory. Yeah, there we go. We Mother tricked you. Fucker. You're supposed to die. What? There's a bomb. We can pull this off. We can pull this off. Quick. Ethan, pull it. So we pull this um, off the wall. Uh, grab the bomb. And then it's got 10 seconds. Dump it into the wall, wall cavity. Get back. Quickly. Quickly. Back, back, back. Hide around the corner. Yes, it's made an exit for us. Let's get out. He was just in here, like his chair's still spinning. And here we go, the D-Series head. We've got the item we need back to create the serum, the D-Series head there. We can see Mia and Zoe. Mia? Mia? Mia! She's alive. Who are you? Where are you? We're just beyond the pier, outside that room. Hurry! Well now, Ethan! The fuck do you want? You? Dead? That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Guess that's not in the cards. Not yet. Lucky me. Look, unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh. you... <laughs> now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. 
That's a yes then, right? Okay, at least we can get our items back now. Guys, I'm going to do something a bit crazy. Because we are low on ammo, I'm going to use the Albert 01R that I unlocked on my previous playthrough. Just until we get some more ammo so that the game just isn't too hard. I think I wasted a little bit too much ammo on previous rounds. So this is a bit of a cheat gun. It's like an ultimate gun that you unlock after you complete the game. And obviously I've completed it before. But this will allow us, obviously, to just save a little bit of ammo on regular enemies and stuff. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to show it you guys. And you can bask in its glory and power. Right, here you go. As you can see, guys, the gun to end all guns. I said I wouldn't use it, but it's like that moment in the superhero movie where they said they wouldn't use their ultimate power the whole time, and then something comes along, some kind of adversary that just makes them say, hey, you know what, I've got to use this. Okay, we've only got three bullets for it anyway. It's time to save Mia and Zoe. Let's get going. I'm coming, Mia. Here we go. So they're up ahead. We've got to make our way across this little walkway. Man, this is... Kind of uh, a bit spooky, I'm not going to lie. We've got something over here. Like a little outhouse. We've got handgun ammo. Nice. And more handgun ammo. That's going to really come in useful. Quite happy about that. Looks like we've got some more um, crates here as well. Shotgun shells, awesome. We're getting all the ammo back. Nice. And then we've got something here that needs a crank handle as well. Let's lift up that bridge. Ethan getting a massive workout on his arms in this game. He's not going to need to go to the gym for quite some time. Right, now, let's try. Yes, look at that gun. That's absolutely nuts. Wait, is he still alive? Yeah, he is. Wow. He's still going. You know what? This gun isn't as powerful as I remembered. I thought it was like a one-shot kill. It's not. But it does take them down fairly quickly. So it's not as OP as I thought, that gun. It's just, like, quite powerful. I guess this is actually fine to use then. Right. And it takes normal handgun ammo, which is obviously good. Oh, no. Uh, back, wild creatures. Wow, they're all coming out, guys. They're all coming out. You know what? This gun isn't actually that powerful at all. It's decent. It, it is powerful, but it's not, you know, it's not a cheat gun like I thought. I was probably getting it mixed up with something else. Still, we'll use it, right? <laughs> Okay, we blocked. There we go. The good thing about it is, is it's far more powerful than the pistol and it takes like regular handgun ammo. So this might actually be good for like boss encounters and stuff. It's not like super powerful, but it is more powerful than the regular pistol uh, rounds would be. It's kind of like, I think about the same power, wow, as the uh, enhanced uh, handgun ammo. When you get a headshot, it's good though. As you can see, it just shot him twice then and it took out one of those leaping things. Oh no, more molded. Get back. Wow, we actually blocked that, that's quite cool. Wow, okay. He, he got us, he got us, he got us. But we got him. We're making our way to the cabin. So any way to heal? Do I have any healing items? I've got a regular herb. I guess I can use that. And here we go. Flame rounds. Nice. Shotgun shells. Right, let's head on upstairs then and see if we can save Mia and Zoe. I believe they're in this building. Um, oh, we will need, of course, though. 
the item for the serum. But we got the D-series arm, I believe it is. There we go. So now we've got the D-series arm and head. We can head upstairs to meet Mia and Zoe. And here they are. Mia. There's Mia. Is she okay? Gonna try and attack us with the chainsaw again. Nope, you're all good now. Here's Zoe. We finally Zoe? get to meet her. Zoe, I... not now. We don't have the time. Do you have both ingredients? Yes. Right here. There should be enough, right? If we make them fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Oh no, but Daddy's coming. There's enough for two. <laughs> we better run. Okay, so she's gonna make the serum. Nice. Zoe's getting to work. So after we make the serum, what's next? Crafting that serum. There's a boat outside. We'll take it through the swamp. But neither of us will get very far without the serum. Okay, you've got the serum. Sweet. I'm gonna take them then. Hey, one of those is mine. Whoa. It's Jack. He's back. Zoe. <laughs> what the hell has he become? What is that? That is nuts. I thought he had died after we sawed him in half of a chainsaw, damn it. Alright. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, he's hitting us really hard already. Okay, we need to go down. We need to drop down. We need to drop down. There we go. This is getting old, Jack. You know what? Screw this. I'm going with a shotgun. Oh god, I used I didn't mean to use that. I did not mean to use that. We need to shoot the eyes off of him. They're his weak spots. There we go, got two of them. He's like a giant salamander or something. What the heck? You can try and kill me, but I'm not gonna make it easy for you, Jack. I'm gonna can make it as hard as I can. All right, here we go. We've got an eye. Oh man, this, he's got another eye here as well. All right, all right, all right. And again. There we go. I took a risk there, guys. I took a risk. It paid off. Hands good ammo. Oh no. He hit us. Um, heal quickly. Even heal. Dodge. Nice. Burn. Um, actually, you know what? That's probably not a good idea to use that gun. I'm going to use this uh, explosive one. Nice. That worked a treat. And again, use it on his hand. Use it on his arm. In fact, you know what? Whoa. Dodge. And again. There's one on his tail. He's got a freaking tail. And his back. Whoa, what the hell? Did he just explode? I think he did. I'm just blowing him up. Guys, we're just burning the hell out of him. This is nuts. Okay. Oh my god, he's exploding all over the shop. What the heck? Has he got any more eyes left? I think there's one on his underbelly. We got it. Okay. Any more? Is that it? What the heck? He's just grabbing at us. Leave us alone, Jack. Or I'll have to teach you a lesson you won't forget. Alright, has he got any more eyes on him? I need to... There's probably one on his underbelly, but we need to get him to come up here or something. You gonna come up? Yeah, you come up. I'll drop down. Now, where is the final eye? Where is that? Oh, it's there. Guys, I see it. We need him to come fully out of the water. There it is, there it is. Yes. You're part of the family now. Yeah, I'm part of the family. I don't want to be, but it looks like I am. Come on. No! He's coming down again. Where's that eyeball? It's over there, I think, guys. Ah, uh, keep missing it. Yes, we got it. Is that it? Are you dead? Wait, he's still not down? No. Wait, is he, go is he going? Did we do it? He's gone. 
Oh no, he's not. No, he is not. No, he is not. Um. Blow it up. Oh my god, he's trying to. He's, I need to blow up the eye. There we go, we got it. We did it. That was so close. He dead? Are you finally down forever? Because that was nuts. Now, I've seen it. Give me those shotgun shells. Let me heal. Wow, what a fight, guys. And here's Zoe. Ethan, this way. What the heck? He's still dead? Are you kidding me? All right. Use the serum on him. The serum? You want me to cure him? All right. Here you go, Jack. Have some serum. Here's for cure. Oh, what ails you? Oh my god, he almost got us as well. Are you alright? Yeah. We did it. Come on, Mia's waiting for us. I love how composed Zoe is. She's like, no nonsense. She's like, I know you just had that massive battle with my father and he turned into a giant monster and then just froze into stone, but we still have, uh, you know, work to be done here. All right, well, that was quite an epic battle. Looks like they're waiting for us on the pier. I had to use one of them. There's only one left. There's only one left. There can't just be one left. What the hell are we going to do now? Only one of you can be cured. Like, I could cure Zoe, or we can cure Mia. I think I'm going to go with a canon ending, because Mia's in Resident Evil 8. I'm going to cure Mia. Sorry, Zoe, but she is my wife after all. I wouldn't it's be much fine. of a husband if I didn't help her it out. Was foolish thinking I could escape. I've only known you for but five Zoe. minutes. Go! Both of you, just go! All right. Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently, I belong here. That's right, you belong in this dirty backwater home. I feel sorry I'll for Zoe help. a little bit. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! She did help us, and Mia has only tried to kill us pretty much since we got here. But at the same time, Mia is our partner. We've probably known her since, like, college or something. You know, it would be kind of a crappy thing to do to just let her die. And like I say, we've hardly known Zoe. We've known her for, like, a tiny bit of this game, that's it. So, that's my rationale behind that. For what it's worth, guys. So now we're on the bayou. We've escaped the house. But I don't think this is the end of our adventure yet. Ethan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I going to choose? Ethan. <sighs> Mia, I know you've been through a lot. But we need to talk. You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Look, I just want to know the truth. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <sighs> Look at that giant ship. Is that the boat? How the fuck did that get here? That's kind of impressive, you know? Giant crash ship like we saw in Evelyn's drawing. Whoa, what was okay. that? What the hell was that? Crocodile, maybe? Alligator? What the fuck? What is that? Oh no, it's not an alligator, it's a giant molded thing. Okay, so we're not escaping. Mommy. It's Evelyn. We've washed ashore. We're playing as Mia. Okay. 
So now we need to explore this ship. How? We've got to find Ethan. Ethan? Okay, I'm going to play on for a little bit more, guys, in this episode. I'm going to make, um, like, the episode slightly longer now, just so that you guys get to see a bit more per episode. So we're going to play on until we get inside the ship and see what's going on there. I'm intrigued, you know. I don't fully remember this. Wait, is that Ethan there? Ethan? Ethan? Oh, God, he's been taken. Ethan! Ethan! I'm guessing that's Evelyn taking him, right? The little girl. <laughs> Look, it's like an eel or something, just snaking away. Okay, so do we? What do we actually have? A strange bottle that we found in our pocket after waking up at the Baker Estate. It's probably important. So I'm guessing maybe that's how she got infected. Whatever was in that bottle. Let's get inside this ship. We need to save Ethan. He's been taken. This is spooky. This is creepy, isn't it? Look at this. We're inside the ship and it's really dark. We don't have any weapons to defend ourselves either. Man, the visuals on this game is so impressive. Like, imagine how good Resident Evil 8 is going to look. We've got, like, mold all over this ship. Wow. That was like a flashback, I think. Because the ship looked pretty, uh, sort of normal what back then. That? So we're getting, like, callbacks to Mia's memories here. I feel like there's going to be monsters. What the heck is that? Look at all these people. Just frozen in time in the mold. It's nasty. I'm just going to keep going up. It's the only way we can go, really. Here we go. A door. It's unlocked. Good. Hmm. Wait, what's that noise? Wow. <laughs> They're all dead. What is it? The engine room. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all. Fuck. What the hell is going on? We need some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, I, I don't know, but... Look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. And they open it up and we can drop down. That's so cool. <clears throat> so we've got to follow the path of those two engineers. Hopefully it's going to lead us to safety, but I doubt it. At least it might lead us to Ethan, you know, and we can pillage his weapon supplies. Drop down. <clears throat> this place is absolutely overgrown. What's this? Crew register, Captain Ed Carlisle. Uh, Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald. First officer, Giovanni Finetti. Uh, second officer, Clark C. Walsh. Mechanic, Dwayne Chalmers or Chalmers. Um, communications technician was Jim Stockman. And physician was Gerald Waddell. Well, that's all well and good. Oh my god. Alright. Easy. He must have been hiding from something. Looks pretty terrified, doesn't he? It's like he's been petrified in fear. Okay, let's go into this room. I'm going to check all of these rooms. We've got another guy on the toilet. He had a hangover. He drank too much vodka the night before. She's inside me. She's inside everyone. There's a little bit of Evelyn inside everyone. Wow. It's quite the view. Look at that wreckage, guys. There's the ship. We've got a portrait of it. LNG tanker Annabelle, built in 1987. Hmm. Cool. Let's head on up. Settle down, little girl. Settle. Ah! There's Evelyn. Oh no, she's transforming them. Bad Evelyn. 
Oh, here she is. What? What are you? <laughs> that is creepy. I always get creeped out by like ghost girls and stuff in games. There's something unnerving about children being like really freaky and scary like that. Okay, um, let's head upstairs. We're trying to like pick up Evelyn's trail, obviously, figure out what has happened here. Because Mia's got a connection to her, hasn't she? And she was the person that came along with her on this ship. But why? You know, we saw that videotape at the start, speaking to Ethan, when she was on this ship. That guy's dead. <laughs> I don't think we can do anything for him. We drop down? Yes. Into the goop. Said we could be a family. Well, what are I you lied. Talking about? You said. Wait. I'm tired of waiting. We're not getting there. Oh. Yeah, we're not getting inside that yet. So we need to find. I think a fuse to unlock the door. Oh my God! There's a creature. There's actually a creature in here. No. Nope. Run. Okay, um... What about in here? Is there any fuses? Or are there any fuses? I should say yes, there's a fuse here. Oh my god! Grab it! Go! Go, 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 go! Go, please! Run! That's not nice. That's not pleasant. Um... Yeah, now let's go. That was close. So we're on one F at the moment. That was really close. We got kind of got lucky there, I think. 2F. Floor 2F. Do we want to be on 2F? That's locked. There's probably only one way we can go, I'm, I'm guessing, on this ship at the moment. 3F. That's unlocked. Okay, cool. Ooh, there's Evelyn again. Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. Okay. So we need to watch the videotape. Look at Evelyn just chilling there, calmly, as if nothing's wrong. Old videotape. She's still there. Is she just watching us? Yeah, she's just chilling out. That's so creepy and weird. All right, let's see what's on this thing. If it even plays, I mean, it looked pretty dirty. So this is Mia's videotape. She was on the cabin, and this is taking place before the events of Ethan's story. So this is when she was actually on the ship. It's a sea transport log, and it's top secret. So this tape's probably going to explain who Mia is, I'm guessing, and, um, sorry, who Evelyn is, and why Mia was her, like, carer. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. That's a bit harsh. That doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? Right, so guys, we have now gone to a flashback of Mia, and Mia was her, like, it was Evelyn's ward and carer, and she's, apparently Evelyn is programmed not to attack Mia, which is maybe why she hasn't done anything to her yet. This guy, I think he's called Alan or something, is just some, like, <laughs> side character that's dying. He's obviously, like, a researcher with Mia on this ship, um, but obviously Mia was not all that we thought she was. And we've got a note here. 
Special Operations Division, director Alan Droney and care, and yeah, we're a caretaker, look, caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as a parental guardian for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided, and if the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. It's a bit harsh. So yeah, Evelyn is like this product designed in a lab, potentially by the Umbrella Corporation. We haven't found out yet who has designed her. With that said, we've got to go and track her down. So let's head on out. We've got a machine gun. We've got an actual machine gun. How sick is that? Okay, cool. Target acquired 20 meters away. So we've got to follow this watch. The numbers displayed show the distance to the target. Okay. So there's an elevator here. It looks like she's on the other side of this wall. Eight, nine. We're getting further away from her again. Yeah, we've got to go around the other way. Maybe in this room? 20 meters away now. What's that? Machine gun ammo, nice. Let's get all the ammo we can get because I have a feeling we're going to have to... We're going to be using it, you know, quite soon. She's on the... No, she's that way. She's back out that way. I'm going to get this machine gun ammo. Locks from the other side, so yes, there's a little vent. Oh man, She's what's vomiting. that? She's vomiting, and what is that? Her vomit? That's what it looks like. Damn, I'll have to reset. So that tracks the vomit. How's it going? She's vomiting, far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. All right, we need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Okay, so we need to figure out where she's actually gone. It says now target is 37 meters away. We're gonna have to go this way. This is definitely getting out of hand as they just said. Oh my God, there's one of the things. You know what? This machine gun cuts through like butter. Nice. Good to have a machine gun finally in the game. It makes it a lot easier. Let's reload. Oh, there's Evelyn. She's just gone upstairs. No. Ah. Okay, so we need to head upstairs because she's gone to the floor above us. Oh no. There's something just dropping in that elevator. Tap it. There we go. All you gotta do is just tap those enemies in the head. A little double tap. She must have gone to floor like S2. Is that the basement floor? Hopefully, this is the right floor. It's like the boiler room or something. Okay. Going deeper into the nest. Oh no. What? What the heck? I just wouldn't get my gun out then. That's nuts. Back. Vile creature. I wasted way too much ammo on that thing then. We need to find some more machine gun ammo, guys. This is nuts. Here we go. I'll do. Take that herb as well. Right. Oh. Another one. This, work, this is one of the ones with the giant, like, sword like arms. What the heck? How many shots do you need? Great. Now we need to heal. We've got two herbs. We're on danger. 
Oh, what are these? Remote bombs. Nice. I'll take those. Right, we've healed up a little bit. Oh no. We've got more. They're coming out of a woodwork. No! Stay back. These things are nuts. These things are like so hard. She's 25 meters away. Let's keep going. What about in here? Looks like she's, yeah, looks like she's in here. We can't get into there yet. Ellen, I think she's on the other side of the store, but I don't have a key. <laughs> Try to melt down the lock. <laughs> You're on the bottom level, right? <laughs> Check our luggage. What are they carrying in their luggage? Are they terrorists or something? <laughs> carrying some kind of melting adhesive or something? Right, this looks like it's where the luggage is kept. Also sounds like they're sitting living in here with the luggage. Let's hope not. <gasps> Corrosive. Excellent. Okay, we can probably burn off the lock now. Let's try it. Yeah, that did the trick. So, Evelyn, you in here? I come in peace. Are you mad at me, Mommy? No, Evie, I I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me. Right now. Where is okay? she? Where are you, Evie? She's gone. She's... Oh, she's there. What? I was looking at the watch. She didn't realize. Oh, no. She's on the run. Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you okay? <laughs> you just worry about getting Evelyn back. <laughs> oh, great. There's going to be loads of those molded creatures now. I, I'd bet anything. Because that music's ramping up, you know. We've got to get Evelyn back. Oh, great. Wait. Oh, actually, we've got bombs. I've got bombs, guys. I've got an idea. Remote bomb. Detonate. Did that work? Yeah, that seemed to have worked to treat. Okay, let's run past this one. So I think I'm going to use remote bombs whenever we encounter like a cluster of those things. We need to get back on the trail of Evie. So where is she? Oh, we can go through this door as well if we melt the lock off. Perhaps she's behind this door. I don't know how she's getting behind these locked doors. <laughs> but, ooh, yeah, look. Remote bombs, corrosives. Sweet. It was definitely worth coming in this room. And also, we can now mix our chem fluid to create, uh, with the herb, to create, like, a potion. Why is this all on fire suddenly? This is not good. All right, we've got him. Oh my goodness, okay. Throw it. And detonate. Yes, that was close. What the heck, he's still alive? Ow. Just blew you and your brother up with a bomb. There she is. Great. She's going up to floor one. No, floor two. No, floor three. Okay. We need to go to floor three then. Come on, elevator. Right, here we go. So, up to floor three. Going up. I'm so done with this right now. 
Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. The elevator's down. Looks like we're taking the stairs. We're on 2F, okay. Where's the staircase? Looks like the stairs are either side. I'm guessing we need to turn around and go the other way. Let's go through here. Climb up. Right, here we go. Looks like there's a way to the stairs here. I'm actually going to get a bomb ready because I feel like the bombs might be really useful for taking out these enemies. Right, the target is on this floor. Evelyn is somewhere here. Here's that room that we were in where we watched the videotape. No way. Here's Alan. You okay? How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. Don't say that. He's not in a good way, is he? She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts... Okay, wait. Evie! No, Evie! Evie! Alan, listen! I didn't mean to call you that! She's Evie. trying to take to, control! To... You have to fight her! He's a goner, isn't he? You don't come back from that. Evelyn, stop! Stop! Right now! Don't touch me! Don't! Ugh. That's kind of nasty. Here she is, speaking of trouble. And now we're cocooned. And she's infected. Oh, that's how she became infected. I see, I see. Well, that's what you get when you mess with biological weapons. Let's head on. Ah, oh, this is where rec Mia recorded her message to Ethan, isn't it? So we, we're actually playing back through the intro of the game, seeing it from, like what happened that led to that moment. That's really cool. shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this stay away forget that you ever knew me she's only using medium quality upload as well have a good life. always go with high quality come on so that's her final message to Ethan she's gonna face off against Evelyn now as the ship is taken over by the mauled. Oh man. Whoa. We'll be together forever. Okay, this isn't good. That's nuts. Whoa, the whole ship just freaking exploded. Well, I guess we know why the ship was shipwrecked now, because <laughs> that happened to it. And then, obviously, that's how Mia was washed ashore with Evelyn, and how she was found by the Baker family, and how then they became infected, of course, from Mia and Evelyn's presence there. So, story explains, I guess. I mean, I might do a story explain video on this anyway, guys. But that is Dad, basically what happened there. Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never 
a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. Probably not the right thing to say to a vindictive child right there. So there we go, guys. We have completed the flashback sequence. I'm probably going to try and finish up the game in the next video, but this has been a long video, so I'm going to actually wrap it up for today. So thank you for watching my playthrough of Resident Evil 7 so far. I hope you've been enjoying it, and if you have, please remember to leave a like down below, comment, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you for the finale of Resident Evil 7 in a few days' time.